Hello. I wanted to give you a tour of a functioning steel sliding sunroof in a in a bay window bus because uh, when I needed it, there wasn't anything available. So, let's just show you these lifters if you have them and don't know where they go. The plastic, I don't know, grommet thing goes into the top of the track. There's a big fat fat screw that goes up there. It screws into the big hole and it's uh, to adjust the height of the roof. And it's the same on both sides. This is the front. You can tell it's the front because of this, you know, it's the same shape as the opening. The lifter assembly. Oh, there's another guide in the back, it's the one with the skinny bottom and it has the same the same uh, height adjustment screw there. And this lifter assembly you'll notice you've got that that hole at the back side of the sliding sunroof. There's a pin and it's uh, smooth on this side has a, a lip right here and then a a threaded end that goes right here. And it goes into the slot on a lifter spring. And then there's a washer, uh, one of those lock washers, and a nut. And I, uh, I think it's five millimeters. And then the spring slides forward and hooks on to that smooth surface there. And then you can see how it's supposed to be functioning when you crank it. This is how it works. And you'll see how the lifter slides into this slot and then continues back. There's, um, you can see it, these feet. There's one coming up from the body of the bus and there's one hanging down. That's what causes it to lift up. It rides up with one another. Watch it function. Sorry, it's so shaky. I'm trying to hold and crank at the same time. See? I'll do it again. Monk. And it's exactly the same on this side. In your track, these, I don't know, tube guides have to slip into this, into the, the body, the cable guide, in order uh, to make everything fit. Okay, and then when this opens, you'll see that the cables crisscross. There's a square plate that goes on the bottom, then there's that gear that goes on top, and then there's a spring plate inside with a hole, and it has two lips. The lips go here and here. Sorry. This way and this way. It took me forever to figure this out. And then you gotta kinda take a rubber mallet and beat it down so it holds tight against that gear and the springs. And that's the way that works. And then the cover helps hold it down. And then there's some other covers that go on here. I just haven't put them on yet. You know. So, that's how the thing works. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to feel free to ask because I've been messing with this thing for a long time. Thanks for watching.